With the way that mobile living has exploded on social media, a lot of people think that the only way to do it is to completely gut a vehicle and do a whole complete rebuild. Now that can be really intimidating, it takes a lot of time and work, and it can also get pretty expensive. So we wanted to show you an option that a lot of people don't consider, and it might be the perfect fit for you. Hi, I'm Sydney. And I'm Jess. And we live in our self-renovated Class A motorhome. Thank you to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Visit rvmattress.com forward slash floor to get 20% off your mattress with code floor. If you're in need of a mattress for your van, camper, or RV, then RV Mattress is the place to go. They offer different firmness options, heights, and dimensions, and even van perfect and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. RV mattresses are made in the USA and provide unparalleled comfort. And Brooklyn Beddings is so confident in their mattresses that they offer you a hundred 120 night sleep trial. So you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, you get a full refund, including the shipping. Oh, and speaking of shipping, to top it off, they offer you free shipping. I highly recommend that you check out rvmattress.com forward slash floor to get 20% off your mattress with code floor. Check it out now and remember to subscribe. About three years ago, we kind of just talked about the random idea to get a motor home and travel and see more places. Working and taking two weeks out of your year to travel isn't just, it's not enough to see what you want to see. Kind of looked into the travel therapy option, which is what I'll be doing, um, and just live in a motorhome and made some money and saw the places we wanted to see. We talked about a schoolie, yeah. which would be really cool. It definitely crossed our minds to do a build of that sort, but it's, yeah, that seems like way over our heads at this point. but. Kind of wanted something that we could build on, had a good foundation. Then we actually found this on the side of the road for sale and we went for it. We felt like it was right for us. We had a lot of help and we like to kind of say it's like, I don't know, all built on girl power because we had like all women working on this thing and so we did the whole thing just us and with their help and basically the time frame of the renovation was over the course of last summer but it's been a waiting process since we've had the motor home just to get going on the projects and then get living in it so we paid around 17,000 for the motor home itself and then including mechanical work and things being fixed that we've had worked on over the course of the last year or so um, we've probably put close to 10 grand in so this is our RV. It's a 2002 Winnebago Itasca Sunrise. It's a shorter type of Class A. It's only 31 uh, feet long and it has a lot of underneath storage, which was a big part of why we bought this. So over here we have the hot water heater. This compartment, just kind of um, an access for all the water lines and stuff like that. And then this is just kind of a storage bin. Some of the compartments, they allow for space to go all the way back underneath the floor of the motorhome, which is really nice. And this Class A is equipped with a propane tank. Since we're hooked up to electricity, a lot of our stuff will run off the electric. So we don't even have this turned on right now which is nice. Has an outlet out here, two speakers and a radio so you can uh, play music and stuff outside. This panel right here is for the refrigerator. So if we have to do any repairs or anything, we would just pop this panel open. So with this motor home, it's equipped with a nice big awning up here. There's a stick that you pull with that little strap and then you just pull it out and works pretty good. This little compartment is to fill up the water tank, which is located in this compartment. And this holds about, I'd say 40 gallons of water. If we want a boondock, we can just use the fresh water tank. This is a really nice big compartment in the back. A lot of different stuff, and it also holds part of the ladder so we can get up on the roof. On the back of the rig, we have the hitch, which we will be towing our Jeep with. We just have to get the tow bar installed for this. And right here is the vent pipe for the propane furnace. 
So we got the ladder with the attachment in the back compartment. You just hook that on and then you can go all the way up and check the stuff on the roof and make sure everything's working. So on the roof we have two covers, one over the bedroom and one over the bathroom. And then we have a solar panel here that we don't use. And then this is our AC unit. So that runs all the AC and everything in the unit. Also, one thing that's super nice with this unit is it has a built-in generator. So that's really cool for boondocking because we can just start that baby up and then use electrical. This houses all the electrical stuff. So we just run our cord and this RV is equipped with a 30 amp. This compartment is for the water, city water fill, so we're hooked up to water right now. And then there's also the black and gray holding tanks. And in here, these three are just storage compartments. So we kind of keep random things in these ones. Yeah, so lots of storage on this unit. We also have Starlink. We've basically had our Starlink up for a week now. If you're going to get Starlink, it's really good to have a nice clear area. Um, right now we kind of have some trees at our campsite, so it says obstructed. So it's not getting the best signal, but when we have it on, our internet and Wi-Fi works really good. Well, now that you've seen the outside, let's go take a look on what's inside. Okay, so this is our cab. Dash was all kind of a gray, creamy color, and I ended up spray painting the whole thing. So it looks nice and bright and white to match uh, the rest of the RV. We've got some storage up here for things, which is handy. Not very organized yet, but we're getting there. Um, there used to be a big TV here, which we took out and just made a shelf. Instead of the old original um, curtains that were on a rack that went around the whole dash we just kind of created our own so we put a regular curtain rod up here with some ceiling mounts and then just got some big old curtains so this is our couch day bed whatever you want to call it it actually used to be a dinette so we left it all in its original structure and um, we just put it down in the sleeper position we made new cushions for the whole thing. So it's actually, when you take away all the pillows and the cushions, it's the same size as a twin bed, so it fits a twin sheet and it can be used for extra sleeping space. I think you could use it as another table if we wanted to. There used to be a jackknife couch here, and so we took that out. It was heavy and ugly and not what we wanted. So we figured, why don't we just make this the couch space so it's nice and comfy and then extra sleeping space, and then put our our dining here. So we got this table um, just online from walmart.com. It actually folds up and down and the other side folds up too, which is really nice. So then we can turn it and have a full table for four people if we have guests. Uh, there's storage underneath, which we haven't put much down there yet. Um, I made those cute little chairs. Those were a nice little marketplace find. <laughs> Redid those. We wanted some open shelves just for decor and a different look. Just painted everything inside and kept the doors off. When we bring the slide in for travel days, we have about probably this much space to walk um, in between, which is fine. This is our kitchen. The only thing we didn't do ourselves is we had a friend make the counter with edge glued pine that he stained and sealed for us. The counter was actually originally only to here, but we just wanted some extra space, so we just do an extra plank. We added some brackets and we just fold it down when we when we bring the slide in and bring it back up when we want some extra counter space. We got a new faucet and everything. It has a sprayer. We love it. It works great. Took out our microwave and what used to be the oven and the stove here. We have a toaster oven that we'll use for baking things and warming things up. And then we just added extra cabinet space for, um, for little meds and things. We have an instant pot also for a lot of easy, um, quick meals. It's really good. So um, we have that. We also have a regular air fryer um, and our toaster oven and our hot plate is our main cooking. And then we have a Blackstone 
griddle outside. And just a Norcold RV fridge, it's original with the motor home. Um, it works on gas and electric. We have it on electric right now unless we need to use it on gas, but it works on both. Um, it's actually quite spacious. We can fit quite a bit in there. This is the door to our bathroom. We have um, a sink, a giant sink, uh, custom countertops that we did. They match the ones in the kitchen. We have three cabinets for storage um, and a gigantic mirror back here um, and our little toilet. We did have to do some deep cleaning of it when we got it, but it's all good and functioning. It goes down to the black tank and that's how we deal with that. A lot of people ask me where I got the wallpaper, but it's actually um, paint. We made a hexagon template out of cardboard and we did painter's tape to make the, the lines and then we painted it and that was quite a tedious job, but we're so happy with how it turned out. It's super fun and kind of retro and we love that style. The original shower from the motor home, painted it black um, around the frame. And then just to make it have the French door look, I did electrical tape for the grid lines. And so it's totally a, a cheapy DIY situation, but I get a lot of compliments on it and we love it. It makes us feel like we're just showering in luxury. I also painted the entire inside with topside marine paint to make it white. It was also like a really yellowy plastic. And then I added floor tiles and silicone those in to kind of fancy it up, I guess. I also added a new shower head and handle. Welcome to our bedroom. Um, come on in. This is, uh, we have a regular size queen size mattress here. Um, plenty of space to walk, lots of good closet space. If you wanna see, and we've got a full mirror. Um, we, like, we like to use organizers. That really helps um, kind of condense everything. We have way too many clothes. There's a closet over on this side too. Under here, we have this custom um, storage that we added in. So we cut off the bottom part of the bed frame and we put in this cube shelf. And the bed also has under the bed storage that we can lift up, so that's why we kind of just added on. We also did a few custom touches. We added board and batten here, um, and then we just painted it to match the color of our cabinets that we have in the kitchen. We just nailed them on and added a little glue. And then we added this fun little thing since it's called the sunrise, we kind of rolled off that name and added our own little sunrise. So we've learned a lot about repairing or fixing or building and creating things. Working with tools and being able to convert things. There's always a way, I just have to figure it out and I have help and yeah, so I think I've just learned that we're capable of much more than we assume we are. Right. The stuff that I've never ever thought about how it works or how it's made or how things just are the way they are, I never put thought into before and now I'm just doing those things, you know, because I had to learn. I'm much more probably of like a worrier than Jess is, but I'm always alert and I just think, you know, you can't not do something because you're afraid to. I mean, there's dangers and risks everywhere um, regardless. So we just stay, we protect ourselves and we, you know, do things together and just to have a level of confidence and awareness of your surroundings and research the spots you want to travel to. Um, there's a huge RV community on Instagram, so just like making those connections and meeting people. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of solo people out there doing it, so go for it.